Oh, and what's up, Bosco Biz viewers? Here at the new, the new ranch, the new farm. What do you call this garbage ass? Beecher's Hope. Well, now that Uncle's back in our life, he's got something to say to us or something to talk about. This is using ass, abusing ass old man. The hell he got to say? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is that about? I will. Horse, don't piss me off. I ain't got no dynamite to throw at it. I miss Chew My, this damn horse. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good, neither. Oh my god. We really are here. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. No. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slope. What? Now, how about I take the saloons? And you take the slums. Good morning. Ask for Charles. Ask about Charles at the saloon or the fence. What is the fence? Man, look how damn far we gotta go. And I'm on foot in this bitch. Oh no, there's a horse. Nice. John's horse. I mean, I'm just gonna go to whichever one I come across first. Cause I ain't got time. Where that damn horse? What is my horse's name? Rachel? It makes me think of that creepy ass. You ever see the ring? Well, there's like two of them, I think. That little creepy ass boy calls his mother Rachel. Like, what the hell is wrong, man, boy? If that was me. I get backhanded so fast by my mama. All I'd have to do is make the sound of the first letter of her name. The hell you say? Pop right across my damn face. Shit. Look out. Play it coming through. Skeet. Hey, Sha, how you doing? Everyone get the hell out of my way. Move the hell out of my way! You're I told fine. you. So what is this? Woo, not that way. I better not get jumped like I used to when I was Arthur in this place. Been here before? Is this the fence? Look how old he is. Is John the only one and uncle the only ones that didn't age? Well, and Abigail. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Bonjour. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. 
sorry, Mr. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind St. Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. He became a boxer? What? That's tight. I guess he was always a brawler. I guess all of us were, so it's good. I guess someone's making... I guess it's good someone's making money that way, right? You gotta try and look at the positives. Ooh, it's opening. So how far away am I then? Oh, it's just right there. She. Come on, Rachel. Who the f who the shit names a horse Rachel? Man, you giving them a human name. What the hell's wrong with you? Or you know what some dirty bitch gonna be on all fours up under the son of a bitch. Come on, Rachel. But it ain't gonna be Rachel no more. By that time it's done turned into something like I don't know. Some male name to where now some so long. Oh good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. No, you weren't, because I was talking. No, apparently Charles is a badass. People know him. Look at this horse. Rachel gets a they love a surprise, but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're you're I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only... She left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Uh, sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. I know he's. I, got a treat I know he's throwing. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. All right. Focus on Charles. So I know Charles said he's throwing fights, but then why did he just go bet on himself? Pretend he's Micah. Come on, Lone Wolf. I'm gonna get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? 
We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Uh, we'll just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. I don't trust him. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. But, uh, maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. You was hoping Bitch! to come out of it. You blocking the road! Like a fat person in Walmart. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sissica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Look where you're Everything going, that please. happened. Bitch! All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh... He used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> uh. You could have thrown that fight. It's never just one fight. Evidently. Those guns they have. We gotta go. my bag. Okay. Sorry, Rachel. Come on, John. I'll drive. Hey Oh, I'm driving. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not. I thought I was driving. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Santa and knee ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. Dang. You take us in. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? Yeah. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk. And wide open spaces. It's 
Speaking of simple. John Charles. <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> This will be a long ride. Oh, yeah. Now that's how I like to travel. That's what's up. So that's what's up. I guess we'll keep messing around with Uncle, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Hopefully this is useful for you. Probably wasn't really much help, you know, to be needed for this one. But, you know, if you enjoyed yourself, please hit that like button. And, you know, if you're new, please subscribe. And, guys, let me hurry on up and get to the next one. So click that next thumbnail. And until you do, peace. Oh, yeah.